And tonight the USA basketball team tries to exercise its clout on the rest of the basketball world. Welcome everyone to the USA men's national team. It's presented by Nike Plus. And we are inside the Verizon Center for tonight's battle between the United States and Brazil. LeBron James fresh off of an NBA championship, the NBA Finals MVP looking to add another gold medal to his trophy case. Going against a recognizable foe, Nene, now a member of the Washington Wizards. Just one of a couple of NBA names you'll see tonight. The other one, Leandro Barbosa. Erstwhile of the Indiana Pacers. Brazil poised and ready perhaps for a surprising result. They were talking confidently before the game. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Jones courtside along with Fran Fraschilla. Thanks for coming aboard. A great night of basketball continues. We saw the women defeat Brazil just a few moments ago. Now the men have their turn at it against Brazil and Fran. Overall, as both these teams get set to go across the pond to the Olympics, it's been a very stirring, compelling, and patriotic weekend for the U.S. men. Oh, it really has when you combine the trip to Arlington National Cemetery, Hoops for Troops, the clinic at the D.C. Arm Armory, really nicely refurbished. Everybody in a patriotic mood. They're getting ready to go to London, but they're not forgetting this Team USA, where they come from. Well, they defeated the Dominican Republic 113 to 59 just four days ago in Las Vegas. But this is a different quality opponent, Brazil, isn't it? What do you expect to see tonight? Well, remember, Brazil has six players on their roster that have NBA experience, including four current players. You mentioned Nene, obviously, Barbosa, Splitter as well. So this should be a really good challenge. Last time they met two years ago in the World Championships, Mark, you know it, two-point game. Yeah, came right down to the final buzzer, folks. It's time. Time to prime to perform brought to you by Gatorade and Kevin Durant really friend the guy that ignited everything for the USA in that game in Las Vegas and he did it off the benchmark and he's not going to start again tonight I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is going to be a Dwayne Wade situation going back to 2008 where Dwayne Wade came off the bench led TV USA in scoring Durant will come off the bench tonight no ego issue at all. This is a very deep, talented team. Nice roll for Kevin Durant. Well, he got started in a very big way early in the ball game. Had 21 points in the first half. Hit a bunch of threes to get that offense started, and everyone else just pretty much feeding off of him on route to a 113 to 59 victory for the United States. On the other side of the court tonight, hey friend, Brazil has some talented players of their own, and their coach has a certain distinction of his own too. Well he does, Ruben Magnano, the great coach of Argentina, the golden generation with Scola and Alberto and, and obviously uh, Ginobili, the first coach to defeat in international play a team from uh, the United States with NBA players. He did it back in 2002 at the World Championships in Indianapolis. Take a look at some of the uh, Brazilian players on the team. We mentioned Barbosa earlier, Nene as well. Tiago Splitter of the San Antonio Spurs, averaging seven points a game in a couple of seasons in the league, and Anderson Verajao of the Cleveland Cavaliers, an eight-year pro with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And you mentioned Ruben Magnano. What is his signature? You talked about the fact he authored the first defeat of NBA players in international competition. What is his signature thing? Well, two things, excellent defensively, but also very, they'll, they'll run fast break offense. They have a terrific point guard in Marcel Lino. He orchestrates Magnano's attack. Good in the half court as well. Execution important. They're going to have their a, a test tonight, no question with Team USA, but a disciplined team. Head coach of USA Basketball men's national team is Mike Krzyzewski. And what a stellar record he's put together since taking over late 2005 their first major competition a little bit of a stumbling block they suffered their only loss but they are now 50 and one under him since taking over time now to take a look at our Nike starting lineups presented by Nike plus one key to keep an eye on I mentioned Marcelino who wears this the point guard one of the best point guards in the world not in the NBA he drove Team USA nuts two years ago in the World Championships, a Steve Nash type player. Team USA, I think, will have some answers for him in the pick and roll tonight. 
We'll see if those answers are the correct ones. And once again, starting for the United States, Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, Tyson Chandler, LeBron James, and Carmelo Anthony. Kevin Durant coming off the bench, and friend, everyone's talked about it. The perceived, quote unquote, lack of size for USA basketball's team. What were your thoughts about that after the Dominican Republic win and going into this one? Well, they certainly weren't challenged inside, Mark, like they will tonight with Nene and Barajal and Splitter. But if you have a choice of speed over size, most times in basketball, I'm going to always take the speed and athleticism. Team USA will obviously go into every game they play in the Olympics as the most athletic and the quickest team on the floor. And I think that's a good place to be at. Okay, we talked about the lack of height, but hey, for every uh, minus, there's a bunch of pluses for this USA team in terms of their strengths. There's no question. Versatility being the key one. You've got guys that can play different positions, both offensively and defensively. And remember what we said, guys that are small forwards in the NBA, guys like Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James, Kevin Durant, are ideally suited to play that power forward spot in the international game because of what they do both inside and out. And President Barack Obama entering the arena. We'll get a chance to speak with President Obama a little bit later in the show tonight. These guys, of course, no stranger to one of the biggest basketball plans uh, in the country. President Obama, he's had them over to the White House for a scrimmage, actually, during his 49th birthday celebration. You see the Vice President, Joe Biden, also in attendance tonight. It's got to be a particular thrill for Kevin Durant, who grew up Grew up in the shadows of the White House over in Pin Prince George's County, local kid who has more than made good, I think. Yeah, said. He's done okay. President Obama, a uh, diehard Chicago Bulls fan, has promised the Bulls, in particular Derrick Rose, that if the Bulls make it to the finals, he'll be there. Was that plan put on hold this year? To tip things off here at the Verizon Center. The president still likes to get out there and shoot, right? Yeah. Shoot some hoops on the uh, six two point guard. You got a little bit of a scouting report on him. The word is he doesn't like to go right. Okay. But, you know, otherwise he's a heady, heady smooth play, lefty jumper. Smooth lefty jumper. Not Chris Mullen type, but uh, <laughs> loves to play and certainly is a big basketball fan, Mark. That's been chronicled many times. He's got a couple of daughters, Malia and Sasha, that he coaches. Well, this Things is always a little bit different, friend. Whenever yeah. you have uh, the big chief commander in chief in the yeah, uh, in the house, in the house. We found out today trying to get into this place. But <laughs> everybody was doing their job. Looking forward to uh, on a spirited effort here tonight. And speaking with Nene and Barbosa, uh, they come in here very familiar with USA basketball players. So. Their comfort level actually showed a couple years ago in losing by only two points in the world championships. Of course, if you ask some of the USA players, they're playing their third game in as many days. And they're ready to lay an egg. Well, this this team that played in uh, the Brazilian team did not have Barbosa and Nene. So Coach Magnano has uh, integrated them into this Brazilian lineup. And he's done a great job of rebuilding Brazilian basketball. Not easy for an Argentine. You know that spirited competition. That's almost blasphemous, right? Uh, exactly, <laughs> and, it, and it didn't necessarily go over well early among Brazilians. And we are underway. USA in the white. LeBron out top, running Garcia. Inside immediately, and splitter with the jump hook. 
LeBron with the rebound. Remember in international basketball, once it hits the rim, it's live. You can take it off. James across to Carmelo Anthony. Melo a little bit strong. LeBron with the rebound. Fouled by Splitter and still got the shot off. LeBron James going to the foul line. What a year it's been for him. Well, Bounce back from last year's disappointment in the NBA Finals against the Dallas Mavericks and to have the stellar year that he had, capping it with a third MVP award and taking home MVP honors in the NBA Finals. Well, he's going to be a complete mismatch for Alex Garcia, the 6 3 guard who spent a little time in the NBA with the Spurs and the Hornets. Of course, every night LeBron steps on the court in the NBA, it's usually a, a mismatch. He's the, you know, he, his versatility is perfect for international basketball. LeBron with a chance to become USA Basketball's all-time leading scorer in Olympic play, knocks down both foul shots. And USA in a full court press here. They were able to turn over the Dominican Republic frequently, friend. See how different it is, if at all, tonight against Brazil. Barbosa with the bank shot. Well, Leandro Barbosa telling us today that he's not sure where he's going to end up. He's a free agent, so this is a pretty good audition for him, although he's had a very successful nine year run in the NBA. Carmelo Anthony inside, tough shot contested and rebounded by Nene. Up court to Barbosa. Garcia with the reverse layup over LeBron, and it's 4 2 for Brazil. Garcia with that, uh, when you get a chance to see that awkward looking jump shot, that corkscrew motion to it. USA down 4 to 2. Kobe wrestling for position on Barbosa. That's going to be a foul against Leandro Barbosa. He started the year off with the Toronto Raptors and was traded. To the Indiana Pacers had a nice run in the playoffs against the Miami Heat, but is now a free agent. And it's interesting, you know, the USA team, Fran, was impacted by the free agent market because Darren Williams sat out the first few days of practice because he had yet to sign his Brooklyn Nets contract. Well, that's exactly right. We watched him stand around in Las Vegas. Kobe Bryant missing its one and done at the offensive end for the United States. Here's Garcia. Remember the FIBA game is a shorter game. They play four 10 minute quarters. That's going to be a foul against Carmelo Anthony. Former teammates with the Denver Nuggets not that long ago. He fouls Nene. And Nene goes to the line for a pair. What you like about Magnano's strategy early. He's gone inside to Nene and Splitter as well. Trying to take advantage of what we talked about of that perceived lack of size. And the part of Team USA although Tyson Chandler out there right now. Gives them that one defensive anchor about seven feet tall. So a shot of Maniano was back in 2002 in Indianapolis when Argentina defeated the United States. A team headed by George Carl. They finished six in those world championships. And ever since that time, really, they bottomed out the USA did, the program did in 2004. And I say winning, quote unquote, the bronze in the Olympics. And after that, Coach Mike Krzyzewski was brought in as the head coach. Here's LeBron. Tipped away out of bounds. It's Brazil basketball. Friend, what do you make of the beginning so far by the United States? Well, I think keep in mind, Brazil has been in training camp since June 10th, 10th. So expect them to be sharp early. They've run their stuff well. They've gotten the ball inside. And Team USA still looking for some continuity. Barbosa on the backdoor cut. Nene inside. Contested back out to Brazil controlled by Huertas. This is the key tonight for Brazil pick and roll basketball with Huertas. There it is. Splitter he does and Kobe fouls splitter and splitter goes to the free throw line for two. Take a look at Marcelino now. I love watching this guy play. He can play in the NBA. Take a look at the dish compared him to Steve Nash. Interesting thing about Marcelo Huertas. He spent a year in high school in Dallas Texas. At Capel High School, and uh, when I talked to him yesterday at the practice, he had many warm wishes for Coach Brad Chastain, who's just retired this year, and all of his buddies. They went undefeated, and instead of going to college, Mark, he turned pro and plays now in Barcelona. He was the point guard to replace Ricky Rubio when Rubio came 
the United States. He makes great money. You know what's interesting about Splitter as I watch him? We talked about 2002. Uh -huh. He was a 17 year old on the Brazilian national team in 2002. So this guy's been around the block for a decade. And he upped his free throw percentage by going one for two. Chris Paul, a little bit out of control, got it back. And he knocks down the baseline jump shot. Chris Paul was slowed down at the early part of training camp last Thursday when he injured his thumb. That's good pressure by Paul. He's going to have to do that with Marcelino. Wide open is Garcia. And there's that corkscrew Ooh. jump shot that falls from the corner. And Brazil leads it by six. He's got five. Marcelino looks like Drew Brees, but he, he does play like Nash. Carmelo tees up the three ball. Halfway down and out. Kobe with the rebound, and he's fouled by Barbosa. And that's going to be his second personal foul. Friend, <laughs> this is not how you want to teach a jump shot in the rotation on it, right? No, I have down in my notes, streak shooter for obvious reasons. That elbow and ball, he shoots it from the right side of his head. Now, it's been effective, and we mentioned he's had a cup of coffee in the NBA, and he's been a very good international player, Alex Garcia. Kobe. Tough shot, but he makes those <laughs> routinely. Kobe makes it a four-point game. Now, if you're Magnano, do you leave Barbosa in the ball game with two early fouls? Well, yeah, so far, nobody's at the bench. Splitter, a little bit out of control, looking for the foul. FIBA basketball doesn't protect its uh, marquee players the way you might expect. And a follow and slam by Carmelo. Are they going to wave it off? There was a whistle before, no basket. And we mentioned how physical FIBA play is. You know, and, and that speaks to the fact, Mark, that whether it's Kobe Bryant, LeBron, Carmelo Anthony, these guys have adjusted very well to FIBA basketball. Collisions are par for the course. The adjustment of knocking the ball off the rim. I, there were so many times in the past where USA basketball teams did not adjust to the FIBA rules and in the last four five six years we've seen it seamless Tyson Chandler meanwhile the reigning NBA defensive player of the year knocks down the first of two free throws the great year he's coming off with the New York Knicks really the voice of the team the voice of the locker room in many respects with uh, his Knicks teammate Carmelo Anthony Remember the champion Dallas Mavericks last year goes one for two. Tell me about the pace of this game, friend. Does it does it favor Brazil? It hasn't gotten into an up tempo game yet. No, it hasn't. No? Obviously, Team USA wants it to be. Brazil has gotten really good in the half court offense under Coach Magnano, and they play better defense than they have in the past. Nene with the free throw line jumper, a little bit strong. Chris Paul tries to knock it away. Brazil gets it back. Here's Huertas. Splitter double teams swarm boy I can't believe he made that what a shot by Tiago splitter and Brazil leads by five Tiago's never been a guy that was a great finisher so he's missed an easy one so far and he's made the difficult one Brian comes up short on the three Garcia back the other way over Brian for the layup you can tell Mark this is an experienced Brazil team and you hear the fans getting a little nervous and starting to cheer as Kevin Durant gets off the bench. LeBron launching a quick three. Well, I think Brazil give LeBron that shot all night long. One thing we didn't see out of Team USA against the Dominican Republic was any inside scoring. So far in a quarter in a game plus it's been pretty much perimeter play. And they inside off the nice feed. Garcia again his second three ball from the corner. And it's 10 points for him and a 10 point lead for Brazil. And now a nervous murmur spreading throughout the crowd here. A 7 0 Brazil run. And remember, the coach cannot call timeout unless the ball is dead. Bryant working against Garcia. Lobs it up for Chandler a little bit too high. The USA out of sorts right now and out of sync. Garcia right by LeBron. And Carmelo with the rebound. Chris Paul back the other way. There's the lob. LeBron with the alley-oop. 
Well, LeBron ran the lane and snuck behind the defense. Chris Paul, very good presence of mind. Splitter. And they fouled Splitter, putting it on the deck. The fouls against Tyson Chandler. Four new players getting set to come into the game for Coach K, with Brazil holding an eight point lead. The first basketball fan in the house, President Barack Obama. But Brazil so far spoiling the party, leading by eight. Tiago Splitter making a circus shot. And Alex Garcia with a couple of three balls. Hey, folks, I think we got a game tonight. of the USA men's national team is presented by Nike Plus Basketball, Game on World, and in part by Gatorade. Gatorade knows it all begins within. Win from within. And Jeep. Visit Jeep.com to learn more. Welcome back, everyone, to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And the USA men's national team presented by Nike Plus. Here at the Verizon Center, I'm Mark Jones, courtside along with Fran Fraschilla. USA scored the first bucket of the ball game, led 2-0, but haven't led since. Brazil leading by 8, 17 to 9, and four new players in the ball game for Coach K. Kind of the shock troops, Durant and Westbrook, Darren Williams. And immediately it bears fruit, Fran, with a shot clock violation. Well, they've gone small here because Brazil is going to a three-guard lineup. And this speaks to the versatility that Coach K can put on the floor. Eagle Dollar Mark, very impressive against the middle. Look at that. Right down Main Street, Darren Ooh. Williams. Recently re signing with the Brooklyn Nets into the six point game. And Russell Westbrook with the pinch and the slam. That's what the U.S. can do to you, right, friend? Well, that's what Russell Westbrook can do. We saw him terrorize the Dominican Republic the other night. Russell Westbrook came into his own for Coach K in the World Championships two years ago. Floater on the way and good by Marcelo Huertas. Huertas plays for FC Barcelona and the ACB generally regarded as the second best league in the world behind the NBA. Under three minutes to go here in the first period. Kevin Durant making a homecoming missing his first shot. Back come Brazil. A lot of high ball screens, friend, by the Brazilians. Here's Barajal from the Cavaliers, yeah. and he knocks down the shot. And, and that's exactly what dro drove Team USA crazy two years ago when Huertas really kept Brazil in that game in the World Championships. And you've seen a number of examples of the pick and roll defense tonight, not going the way Coach K wants it. LeBron. Got it back and got the second one to go. LeBron James, uh, the Miami Heat, now two of four for six points in the ball game. LeBron's post-up game has really improved this year, and you saw him take advantage of the smaller defender. Yes, he did. He imposed his will on Garcia. Huertas on top, but Russell Westbrook with another <laughs> pinch. Wow! This guy is a demon on defense, and he missed the layup. Well, both Larry Taylor. And Huertas have gotten a taste of what Westbrook has done. Oftentimes in the NBA this year, Larry Taylor, the naturalized American from Chicago. Jump hook by a splitter, no good. Barajal couldn't get the handle. USA with a chance to cut the lead to four. One and a half to go here. And USA just a little bit out of sync in this game so far. Nice feed to Barajal, and he gets the layup. Uh, Alert just remind you of Nash. Yeah. And the guy. Eddie Player. Yeah, he could play in this league. He just makes too much money in Spain. And Durant with the blow by. That's a mismatch yes. on the edge. Kevin Durant, the three time NBA scoring champion. I like this lineup for Coach K. It's got quickness, it's got a score, it's got LeBron who can do multiple things. This group has really kind of changed the tempo a little bit, Fran. Here's Splitter. Looks for the cutter, Garcia. Missed it, but a foul called on the play. Barajal careens to the court. Former teammates with LeBron James in Cleveland. Fouls against Iguodala. Well, there's a steal by Westbrook, and 
Goes to the left hand and just leaves it short. And then coming back, the lob to Durant just can't get a hold of it. So, Team USA, the intention good, the execution not so much. They're seven of 17 from the field here in the early going. Alex Garcia at the free throw line, former San Antonio Spur, going back to 2004 and played with the Hornets in 2005. I want to say he was a former teammate of Chris Paul for a brief moment. Well, you can knock it off, but you can't hit it out of the bucket. And Garcia will take a seat. Machado comes into the ball game. If that ball's on the top of the rim, you can knock it off. But if it's in this inside the cylinder, you obviously in any in any basket in any rules can do that. Look at that move. Durant, good recovery by Verajao. Williams thought about it. Only Coach Magnano going too deep in his bench right now. USA jacking a lot of threes here. They're 0 for 5 from downtown. He's got the 19 year old Raul Zinho out on the floor. Anderson Verajao with a jumper. And in the first quarter, Verajao's already fallen to the court twice. He's got five points. Now we told you because of the NBA players, it wasn't going to be the intimidation factor. Williams. Missed the floater, left it on the rim. That's the end of the first quarter of play. Brazil leading the USA 27 to 17. We told you that the last time these two teams met, they went down to the last couple possessions. But President Obama doesn't seem all that concerned. He and Vice President Joe Biden in attendance here tonight. Brazil getting a lift from Anderson Vaurjao of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Back with the second period after this. Two things I need before the race, music and the confidence to win. It's about getting my head in the right place, seeing every stroke. Coming schedule. Up next for the men, they're in, in England, taking on Great Britain in Manchester. That's July 19th at 2 o'clock, then midnight on the 22nd. They'll play a good Argentina team and then finish it up with a game in Barcelona against Spain, the silver medalist from 2008. And then they play their first game in the Olympics after that. All games will be airing on ESPN2 leading up to that time. Kevin Love checking into the ball game. You see that little cut above his left eye. Took a hit in practice a few days ago in Las Vegas at the beginning of training camp. Uh, had eight stitches. Guys are really getting after it. Yeah, they sure were. And what kind of changes do you anticipate for the United States here in this period? A slow start in the first. Well, they've gone to a smaller, quicker lineup, obviously, with Westbrook in there. Durant goes. This is what we talked about. Durant is a four man. Love is the five man. It'll be interesting because Durant's going to have to likely guard Varajal. But they have more quickness on the perimeter to match up with Brazil's guard. Now, Brazil's guards, very. I don't want to say an experience. Larry Taylor has been in the league. He's a young man that played at Missouri Western Larry Taylor. And then played a cup of coffee in New Mexico. You know, I was going to say New Mexico. Mexico, Venezuela. He's found a home in Brazil and he's a naturalized Brazilian dual citizen now. Explain that rule to us because some people might think it a little strange that somebody from the United States or from Chicago or Los Angeles or whatever is playing for the Brazilian national team. Right. FIBA allows one naturalized citizen to play on your roster much like Serge Ibaka is playing for Spain. You see that quite often Becky Hammond on the women's side playing for Russia. This young man with the ball right now 19 years old Raul Neto. See if Williams can turn him over a little bit. United States down by eight. Just underway here in the second period. Mark Jones along with Fran Fraschilla. This is Taylor. Working against Iguodala who is a defensive stopper on that World Championship team a couple of years ago, and that's going to be a foul against Kevin Love. It's going to be interesting to see how Coach Magnano plays this game, Mark, because he's got to feel good about being up eight. He was up to ten at the half, but he also knows it's hard to beat Team USA more than once. And, uh, you know, oftentimes these international coaches, I don't want to say they'll throw a game, but 
they won't throw all their best stuff at you. Winning today would be great. Doesn't really mean much if you're trying to win an Olympic medal. And their friend to get the turnover yep. from the youngster. Meadow got a little too deep. And Westbrook follows, but that's a real follow. Andre Godala with the hammer. Now you mentioned it. You called it perfectly. The Swiss Army knife. Andre Godala does a little bit of everything. You know, people forget he shoots 39% behind the arc. We just look at it as defense and energy. He was one of the unsung heroes of that 2010 World Championship team. And they working against Kevin Love. Inside to Neto. Three on the shot clock. They better get one up. They force a tough shot. A whistle, and that's going to be ruled a shot clock violation. And by Matthew Martin, the official from Puerto Rico. Well, Jose, yeah, see, Jose Carrion made the call, and I, I think he released the ball. I, I agree with this. I think it hit before the yeah, but expiration? He, I think it did hit the rim, but he released it before the shot clock went off. And then it, see, it hit the rim, so. That should be a uh, inadvertent whistle alternating possession Brazil keeps the ball and good piece piece of officiating by the FIBA crew here. Parrish out working against Iguodala. United States 50 and one since coach Krzyzewski took over back in 2005 Nene fires rebounded by Westbrook. Westbrook out there with his OKC teammate Kevin Durant who launches immediately. Those were falling in the game against the Dominican Republic. This time not so much. The United States still without a three pointer in this game. Love tries one and he's off to mark two. Kevin Love the three point shooting champ this year all star weekend. Nene with the hammer. This is a home game for him. Yeah. Traded from the Denver Nuggets at the trade deadline to the Washington Wizards. Hey they played well when he was healthy. Wizards seven and four with Nene in the lineup. At the end of the year, of course, Bradley Beal now playing well in the summer league. John Wall's got more ammunition. Got some tools in the toolbox. There's Durant, five on the shot clock. Iguodala stopped, and a shot clock violation against the United States as Carmelo Anthony and Chris Paul get set to come back into the ball game, along with LeBron James. Huertes also comes in for Brazil. You know, you talk about the growth of friend international basketball. I remember speaking with Doc Rivers, who was a coach on the Goodwill Games team that the United States sent to Australia years ago. That guy there, Nene, was a youngster on the Brazilian team that played against the United States. Doc came back telling me that he was in totally impressed with the talent of a then very young Nene. And he's really right. grown into a quality NBA player. Well, he's a high draft pick by the New York Knicks traded on on the draft day to the Nuggets. Carmelo way strong in the United States drought from downtown continues 0 for 8 from downtown. See right now Mark Team USA has no inside scoring at all. Now would Dwight Howard provide that not likely. But you've got to play the game from inside. I don't care who you are you, you, you you're going to take some chances if you just rely on jump shots. There's a long one way off the mark by Machado. Out of bounds. It'll be USA basketball. Well, the Open Championship begins Thursday on ESPN. Which one of golf's greats will have the honor of hosting the Claire Jug? First round of the Open Championship. Thursday, 5 a.m. Eastern Time on ESPN, ESPN3, and also live on Watch ESPN. 6.42 to go in the first half. Guess we can officially call this upset alert. Back with more. Welcome back, everyone, to Washington, D.C., and the uh, first family in attendance. Michelle Obama joining husband, President Barack Obama, and Joe Biden. There's, there's a new basketball court at the White House as of a few years ago, friend, and uh, some celebrated pickup games held frequently by President Obama and his staff. Arnie Duncan, of course, the Secretary of yeah. Education is a former player at Harvard. He was a pretty good player, as a matter of fact. You know, and uh, I, I think there's probably some father-daughter coaching going on at the basketball court. <laughs> they got President Obama on the ever-popular arena, in-house arena, kiss cam. He blew it. 
I, I didn't. I'm booing him. He didn't. He didn't. I don't think. He, I don't think he saw it. <laughs> United States only with one assist in the game. Chris Paul kicks it out to Durant. Still without a three-pointer now. 0 for 9 from downtown. Friend, at what point does the United States have to seriously consider throwing it on the block to, well, to LeBron or I, somebody? I think they're finding out that you don't want to just rely on jump shots. The, the major way they can lose in the Olympics is to just rely on a game where they're just going to shoot jump shots because sooner or later the jumpers will go. That's shot clock right there. Wow. Good pressure. Just, just threw it up there. Didn't have much choice. Here's Chris Paul. Out to Bryant. Bryant with the clear out. Took a little bit of hit from Nene and a foul called against the United States. Well, we saw a little bit of that physical nature of FIBA basketball. No call there as Kobe drove to the bucket. Folks, watch all the NBA Summer League action with Summer League Broadband. Now for only $4.99, watch live Summer League games on your computer and your mobile device. Go to NBA.com backslash SLBB to learn more. Carmelo Anthony now with two personal fouls in the ball game. Brazil leading by eight. This is Garcia. Huertas. Nice feed to Nene, and he got stripped. United States looking for a run out. LeBron can do it. Man, can he do it with feeling. Looks like he was on one of those trampolines <laughs> that have been performing during the timeouts right in front of the president, too. That was nice. LeBron James looking for another Olympic gold. This shot off the mark. Rebounded by the United States and Carmelo Anthony. Chris Paul with the floater. He's up a little bit short. They want Nene and Barajal are controlling the backboards. Nice move by Machado. Huertas controls. Nene had it knocked away by LeBron. That's going to be a foul against Huertas. Friend, you see that a lot in international basketball, especially when the United States has a chance to run out. They get fouled. Before they can get it going, exactly. They couldn't stop LeBron no, here. No, now you're talking about a freight train. Watch this. LeBron's going to come right down the lane. You don't get a chance to see how high he jumps on that angle, but this will give you a better look. But you're absolutely right, Mark. You want to try to keep Team USA out of transition as much as much as possible, even if you have to give up a foul in order to do it. Here's Kobe. Still way cold and off the mark. LeBron with the rebound. Bryant lobs it up to Rant with this classic finish. Well, it doesn't have to be a post up game, but you've got to attack the rim if you're Team USA. You've got too much talent and athleticism to just, to, just to rely on being a jump shooter. Four minutes to go almost in the first half. It's a four point Brazilian lead. Chris Paul picking up the defensive pressure. Strong screen by Nene. Well defended by Paul. Barbosa and Brazil again with another offensive rebound. That shot over the backboard and out of bounds by Huertas. Huertas claiming that LeBron tipped that ball. Thought he just heard <laughs> footsteps. Right? Yeah, he threw that ball high, too high. He's going to take a breather, and Larry Taylor comes into the ball game. And to tell you how USA basketball now is still a a deep family Dwayne Wade obviously watching the game tweeting just a few moments ago he said it's strange to see Larry Taylor number seven for Brazil our brother from Chicago wearing a Brazilian uniform playing against the United States. So Wade although not here because of the knee surgery watching this game closely Kobe Bryant finally knocks down a perimeter J and it's down to a one point game at three ball their first of the night. Excellent ball movement. And that's going to go off Taylor out of bounds. Kobe Bryant was hanging out with the president <laughs> and snuck up on Larry Taylor. But watch the ball movement right here. Side to side, quick swing by LeBron. Extra pass, corner J, knocks it down. The defense that time by Garcia to come up with the steal. Chandler got it back. And the United States with a one point lead. This is an example of taking advantage of the physicalness of FIBA rules 
And Tyson Chandler just muscling that ball from Garcia. And a foul called against the United States in the middle of a 9 nothing run right now. Kobe Bryant the catalyst in many ways. Third team foul of the period. Remember in FIBA basketball like the NBA. You shoot the penalty on the 15th foul of the period. James Harden coming into the ball game. Durant will get a breather. Kevin Durant not getting off to the quick start that he did like he did in the previous game against the Dominican Republic friend. Well they, they he got so many open looks against the Dominican Republic it was it was almost silly. Obviously tonight Brazil has made him a little bit more of a point of emphasis defensively. Here's Nene facing up on Tyson Chandler. Goes quick Chandler yeah. shows you why he's the NBA's defensive player of the year. Chandler's making a difference Mark. LeBron bullying his way to the bucket and fouled by Nene. When LeBron James puts his head. You might want to think about getting out of the way. And Nene's a big guy. Yeah. You know you talk about Tyson Chandler two years ago. At the World Championships in Istanbul, Chandler, Chandler's career, in my opinion, was floundering. It sprung board him to a great year in Dallas and then a great year in New York as a defensive player of the year. Well, Kobe Bryant knocking down the United States first three ball of the game. And you got to be really buttoned up and laced up if you're going on to the Olympics. Back with more after this. Hey folks, the coverage of USA National Basketball continues with a pair of games on ESPN2 Wednesday. USA women take on Great Britain at 2. Then on Thursday, the men go at it against Great Britain at 2 o'clock Eastern as well. USA Basketball presented by Nike Plus. The United States turning up the pressure media, Fran, on, uh, on defense. Eight steals, three by Russell Westbrook. That's becoming more commonplace. You see the hustle there by LeBron that leads to the easy basket. For Durant and watch Tyson Chandler we talked about how he has progressed late in his career to become a stalwart defensively for the New York Knicks of course culminating with the NBA defensive player of the year. He was a big factor in the New York Knicks defensive turnaround late in the year as LeBron James knocks down the first of a couple of foul shots. LeBron one of those guys that really enjoys wearing that USA jersey he was talking to me earlier about how he's looking forward to getting out and seeing a lot of the other Olympic events when they get out to London. The water polo team actually visited him at training camp out in <laughs> Las Vegas. He might have been looking for a new goalie friend. I'm not sure. I think there's multiple sports where Brown would be <laughs> successful in playing. He's got it, nine points. This is his 51st game wearing the USA uniform. So your point is well taken. Barbosa having problems against Kobe on defense. And they turn Barbosa over. Chris Paul with the layup. United States up by four. They just wear you down. Constant harassment and pressure. Chris Paul picked them clean. A 16 to 2 United States run. Are you looking at a number of guys who've been first team defense? Oh my. Yay. Chandler ran out of airspace and commits the foul. Actually, Chris Paul, that alley oop just a little bit off the mark. When you talk about this run, Mark, it should be pointed out. Here's the miscommunication a little bit. There's that one hand pass. No Blake Griffin to catch that. Blake home nursing that knee injury. That'll take about eight weeks to heal. He should be back in plenty of time. Anthony Davis now going to be making the trip to England. Leader of the national champs from Kentucky. Yeah, I was going to make the point, Mark, when you look at this team, Chandler, Brian, Iguodala, James, Paul, they've all been first team all NBA defensive team. On the baseline, free for a jumper, it's Giovanni, and he knocks down the three. It's a one point ball game again. Now this guy has always been a very good shooter at the international level. A little mismatch here, LeBron working against Splitter. LeBron. Made it look easy that time on the blow by. He's got 11 points. Now uh, the paint point starting to add up a little bit, friend, for the United States. And that's how it should be. 
Double team and LeBron with the pinch. Showtime for the president. And the 19 year old getting a little education right now. You really can't appreciate the quickness and the lethal effect it has without seeing it up close. I mean, these guys really move their feet and guard people. Brazil totally disjointed right now because of the ball pressure. A 25 20 to 5 run for the United States. Coming up on the USA Basketball Halftime Report. Presented by State Farm. We'll be speaking live with President Obama and a recap of the USA women's victory against Brazil. Well, Coach K spreading the minutes around, making sure everybody gets their fair share tonight, except for Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis could get some touches and some burn before it's all said and done. We're going to take a timeout and we'll come right back after this. Welcome back everyone to the Verizon Center. Mark Jones courtside along with Fran Fraschilla. The United States being tested tonight. Leading by just five points with 46 seconds to go here in the first half. But a big turnaround in the last several minutes, Fran. Why? Well, simple. 11 Brazil turnovers in this quarter so far. Only two by Team USA. Team USA with 11 steals. It's been guys like Kobe Bryant, Chris Paul, Westbrook getting it done defensively. LeBron with the miss. And Brazil back up court. Brazil shooting well from the field, 48%. A good, good example of what I was talking about before. That time they ran Garcia off the three point line and get the turnover. Yeah, that's the 12th turnover this quarter. Last possession, Mark. They're going to hold for one here. Here's Colby working against Splitter. You might want to call this a mismatch. I'd zone up here. Harden for a deep three. LeBron with the rebound out of bounds. USA basketball with 1.7 to go in the half. Tyson Chandler going to come in. What do you make of this substitution, friend? Uh, they, if they have an inbounds play here, Tyson Chandler is going to be a part of it because because of his size. Coach K rushed Tyson Chandler in the game. Let's see if they get some execution. They're trying to get organized on the fly. And there's a lob right there. Chandler meeting resistance from Verajao and they didn't get a shot off. Nonetheless, the United States outscoring Brazil 20 to 5 in the second period. They lead it 37 to 32. LeBron James leading the way for the United States with 13 points in the ball game. Folks, when we come back, we'll go to the studio with Cindy Brunson for the USA Basketball Halftime Report presented by State Farm. Well, the first basketball fan, President Barack Obama, in the house tonight. Early on, though, Brazil with a little buzz kill, but then LeBron came back to give the United States the lead. Turning that tempo around for the United States with uh, some of his full court pressure. And, uh, you know, it was interesting a few moments ago. Uh, President Barack Obama joining us here on the broadcast and uh, had a chance to visit with the women's team that won a little bit earlier today against the Brazilian women's national team and he had a chance to visit with them uh, through a little uh, picture taking photo op Angel McCotcha with Vice President Joe Biden uh, talked about the fact that just a few moments ago he big basketball fan men and women he coaches his daughters and Vice President Joe Biden uh, speaking uh, down at my son's high school actually recently at Cypress that. Bay High School in Weston Florida uh, stuck around for the whole event addressing some 4300 students and uh, nice to see everybody turn out and support the United States but you know in, in a different vein friend there's an air of patriotism that's really permeated this USA basketball team and not to sound trite it's really given them an anchor and, and a galvanizing effect to moving forward to the Olympics. Well, I think this started in 2005 when Jerry Colangelo took over the program, named Mike Krzyzewski the coach. Remember this, Mark. Mike Krzyzewski is a United States Military Academy graduate. He feels it in his veins, the patriotism. And all these players, particularly guys like LeBron James, 
Carmel Anthony, they're making their third appearance in the Olympics. It says something about how they feel about representing the United States of America. Brazil with possession to begin the second half. This is Huertas. Out top. Barbosa got a couple of early fouls. Kobe got knocked down on the switch. From the same corner that he made his first two, missing that time is Garcia. Well, this game has gotten a little bit too physical now. And I think if you're officiating this game, you got to make sure that nothing gets out of hand because a lot of moving screens, a lot of bodies flying. LeBron missing that post up jumper and a wide open splitter for the layup. Yeah, that's that's you give Huerta space in the pick and roll and you don't have good defensive coverage, he will pick you apart. He yeah. has no intimidation at all as far as being out here. Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant in the backcourt for the United States to begin the second half. This is the same starting five that began the game. And with LeBron being guarded by Garcia, you would expect maybe Fran a little post up action here. There you go, right on cue. LeBron passing out of the double team for Kobe. And Kobe knocks down his second three ball off the nice feed. I like it. Double team came. LeBron looked opposite. Kobe spotted up. Remember that international line is about a foot and a half closer. There's Barbosa back at you for three off the mark rebounded by Chandler and if you remember that gold medal game in 2008 in China against Spain it was Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade that made a lot of the key buckets down the stretch. Chandler off the lob kicks it back out to LeBron. Ten on the shot clock. LeBron draws the contact and one. We've seen that a few times. <laughs> He had the mouse in the house. <laughs> Foul is going to go against Garcia. Yeah, that's just brute strength. We talked about this at the beginning. Garcia opened the game on him. Now watch. He just punked him inside. Garcia had a big smile on his face. Well, he looked like he fouled LeBron three or four times on his way to the bucket. And LeBron punctuating that field goal. You mentioned it earlier, Mark. I thought LeBron did a much better job this season of taking his game to the lane when it required it and spent a lot of time over the offseason last year with Hakeem Olajuwon went down to Houston and spent almost a week with Hakeem the great low post scorer and Hall of Famer. Huertas out top working against Chris Paul look at Chris Paul move his feet trying to fight around that splitter screen and they come up with the steal relentless. Defense and Verge out now. That's what I talked about. Foul. I saw this coming, Mark. The, the, the first play of the second half, third quarter, that is, it was getting a little too physical, and that's just a little bit of payback. Don't let the choir boy look of Chris <laughs> Paul fool you. Oh, folks. no. Oh, no. Watch this right here. Now, that's Verge out just getting even. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of those accidentally on purpose fouls. Well, Varajal got Kobe to start the second half on an illegal screen. That's why I smelled this coming. One thing that these players will tell you, and I've heard it from them, when you have USA on the uniform, that's an automatic target on your back. That comes Huertas the other way off the Kobe miss. Lead is nine for the United States. No, that's nice sweet. feed inside Garcia with the layup. Here's Chris Paul back. Paul steps back and knocks down a three. That was excellent execution. That time Huertas went under the screen. The screener buried Huertas and Chris Paul did a really good job of just spotting up. Splitter trying to put it on the deck against Carmelo Anthony and Anthony with the foul. That's the second team foul against the United States in the third quarter. Take a look at a work this right here Mark. Why don't you just drop that dime. Now he's got Kobe on him on that last possession so. But now watch this. Watch the screen there by Carmelo. It gets. Work this to go under. Here's where this out top Barbosa off the curl. LeBron guarding him five on the shot clock. He's got to get one up quickly. And he won't. 
Another shot clock violation forced by the United States. And, friend, one of the indelible images of the last major competition for the United States was in Turkey against Turkey in the gold medal game. And I want to say they caused three or four shot clock violations against that team in the first half alone. It's the type of defensive pressure they can apply. No question, Mark. And I, I've said this before because they can switch at two, three, four spots, sometimes five. It makes them particularly lethal. Teams do not like to run offense against defenses that switch successfully. So it takes away cuts and easy opportunities to score. Ron passing out of the double team was fouled by Splitter, his second. Kobe with the step back. Kobe Bryant having a tough time shooting the ball tonight. Just three of nine. Barbosa blocked oh. by Durant with that long reach of his. Ball with the jab step and rebounded by Barbosa. Brazil with numbers. And quick hands by the United States and Paul on the run out. Took the hit and won. Chris Paul, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, watch first of all what you call Durantula right here. Watch the extension mark on the block. And Chris Paul, if you're watching at home, you're a young guard. Take the ball to the defender. Absorb the contact and a great finish right there. That was going to be a collision. It was a matter of who was going to win the collision. Chris Paul fully healed from his late season uh, nicks and bruises with the Los Angeles Clippers. His Clippers ousted in four consecutive games by the San Antonio Spurs. But he was telling me the other day outside of his thumb injury, that he heard early in training camp. He's fine. He's got 10 points in the game now. And the lead is up to 13. Garcia into splitter. And you talked about it just a second ago, friend. The swarming United States defense. There's there's no substitute for that kind of quickness. Now you you look at LeBron, you look at Iguodala. Chris Paul's been all defense, first team in the NBA. Kevin Durant's got that length. You don't really I mean right now you you don't even have a power forward out there really if you think about it. That's going to be a foul against Kobe Bryant. Outside of LeBron who could guard all five positions obviously everybody else out there is essentially a perimeter player. And friend when you look at the United States roster as Russell Westbrook comes in for Kobe. There are a bunch of all defensive NBA players. Exactly. On team. Kobe being one of them. Well, this is a good matchup because Westbrook has been terrorizing guys so far these first two games. Huertas knocks down the long ball behind the nice screen by Splitter. Lead back down to 10 with about five and a half to go here in the third quarter. The United States playing its second of five exhibition games leading up to the Olympics in London. After this one, they'll go across the pond to play in London against Great Britain. Paul calls for the screen from Iguodala. Durant with the rip through. Wow, what a move. Missed it. Iguodala had knocked away, but he's fouled in the process. Oh, Called by Matthew Martin, the official from Puerto Rico. Pardon me, that's Jose Carrion. That's the third foul against Garcia, sending Andre Iguodala to the free throw line. Friend, what do you make of the decision? To go with Andre Iguodala on this team as opposed to other guys who are alternates like a Rudy Gay or a, right. an Eric Gordon. Well, I loved Eric Gordon and, and he played so well, as you mentioned earlier in 2010, as did Iguodala. And I think he could have flipped the coin, really. But Iguodala, you know, he's going to play a lot more minutes, I think, than people think. This is a guy that averages about 12, 13 points a game for the Sixers, six rebounds, six assists, great defensively. And makes open shots, Mark. So his versatility again, I think, gives him an opportunity to get a lot of playing time. But I love Eric Gordon. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Eric Gordon's on the 2016 team coming off the injury plague season. Remember to those of you uh, who haven't heard already, Blake Griffin will undergo knee surgery and will be out six to eight weeks. Anthony Davis taking his spot on the roster. And once again, another Brazil turnover, the function. Of good defensive pressure by the United States. That's their 19th turnover. 
friend, this wasn't the case for Brazil when they played against the United States in the World Championships. Well, they, they may see each other again. And as I said, don't go by just this performance tonight because remember, Coach Magnano had some of his key players out much of that second quarter. But there's no question that their team speed and quickness is going to cause anybody trouble, including the teams that we think of as the fiercest rivals, Argentina and Spain. Iguodala fouled by Nene. That's his second personal foul. Time out on the floor. The United States leading by 11 with 4.43 to go in a presidential and vice presidential night. Trying to catch up on those texts and those calls in the shadows of the White House. Back with more after this. Back at a sold out Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. Mark Jones chopping it up courtside along with Fran Fraschilla. The United States leading by 11. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the USA women. They play uh, Great Britain in Manchester on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Then Thursday, the men are in Manchester against Great Britain. Then on the 22nd, Argentina plays against the United States. That's the men's game, and uh, that'll be at midnight Eastern time, 9 o'clock Pacific. Then the USA men wrap up their exhibition pre-Olympic schedule against Spain in Barcelona on July the 24th as Iguodala misses the first of two. Everyone knows that Spain came close in the Olympics last time, Fran. How do you handicap Spain's chances against the United States four years later now? Well, they still have the Gasol brothers inside, and you talk about size and a team that could bother Team USA. It is Spain, but keep in mind, Ricky Rubio will not play. Uh, Rudy Fernandez is coming off back surgery and uh, Navarro has uh, been banged up most of the season but you still have a lot of experience many with a strong move to the bucket and those two guys used to be teammates at one point with the Denver Nuggets and they now a member of the Washington Wizards he's got six LeBron bad pass they claim it was tipped, but it wasn't. Let's take a look at the Pool B teams. Spain, Australia, China, Russia, Brazil, and Great Britain. Russia just qualifying recently for the Olympics. Uh, Spain the best team, obviously, in that group, friend? Well, they are, but, I, I you know, Russia's all awfully sneaky good. And excellent coach. Kirilenko's probably playing the best basketball of his career. Lead is at 10. Huertas with the drive. And there's an example of the FIBA rule. And they're going to count the basket. Maybe someone's hand got up underneath them. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a good call. Let's take a look, Mark, because obviously you could bat that ball off. See if somebody's hand went through the cylinder. Yep, good call by Jose Carrion. Official from Puerto Rico who somehow lives in Connecticut. Don't, <laughs> don't ask me about that. But it's Jose, a small world, Frank yep, Priscilla. One of the top FIBA officials you'll see. Durant finally finds the mark from downtown. Kevin Durant telling me a little bit earlier that this is a great bomb and elixir for getting over the disappointment of losing in the NBA Finals just a month ago. He gives the United States an 11 point lead. Splitter working against Durant. Nice move by Splitter to back him down and draw the foul. Tiago Splitter, the San Antonio Spurs, draws the foul. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, in the NBA, he's uh, well under 50% from the free throw line. And there's no reason to think that it's going to be any different in FIBA. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's been my experience anyway. Brazil has not been to the line since the first quarter. Five of six, and there you see evidence of his uh, lack of skill or good free throw shooting. Splitter a key backup for the Spurs. Goes one of two. A young guy that's been around a long time. We mentioned he played as a 17 year old in the World Championships a decade ago. 10 point ball game in Godala working his way to the basket and draws the foul from Splitter. Godala had one of his better years with the Philadelphia 76ers this season. He was voted first time All-Star. 
First All Star they've had since uh, Allen Iverson, in fact. He'll go to the free throw line for two. Verjao coming back into the ball game for Splitter. Of course, his coach Doug Collins knows something about the Olympic Games, having competed in 1972 in the famous game that Team USA lost to the Soviet Union. Controversial ending yep. in that game, and in which the silver medals that the United States won are still sitting in a vault in Lausanne, Switzerland, still unclaimed. I don't think those guys over there on that bench are thinking about silver or bronze right now, though, friend. No, LeBron and uh, Carmelo each have a bronze medal from 2004. I'm sure it's not displayed prominently in their trophy case. I actually asked LeBron where his was. <laughs> he couldn't tell me. He didn't know. In all honesty, he had no idea where it was. <laughs> Using as a, one of those uh, paperweight? <laughs> yeah, paperweight. <laughs> Verjao hung up. Six on the shot clock. Huertas with a nice floater off glass. The lead is down to nine. He has seven. Brazil still hanging around here, friend for Schilla. Darren Williams. Williams trying to change that. Taking his game across the river to Brooklyn. He and Joe Johnson going to team up for the Brooklyn Nets along with Brook Lopez back in the fold. And no Dwight Howard last time. Last time we checked. Remember where Darren Williams spent the early part of last season in Turkey. That's right, playing for Besiktas. Take a look at Darren Williams here, a little crafty. Your two former Dallas high school players right there, Huertas and uh, Darren Williams. You're the only guy I know that can pronounce Besiktas. Exactly. Yeah. Allen Iverson's former home. Huertas with a nice pass to Verajao and a sweet finish by Anderson Verajao. The lead still just at nine points, and he's got eight. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, this, you might think I'm crazy. Huertas is every bit as good as Jeremy Lamb. Okay. I'm just telling you. What makes you say that? Yeah, well, because he's a master at a pick and roll, can make shots. He's just a good facilitator. I don't know that he'd be an NBA star, but he could start for a number of teams and certainly would be a great backup. And it has had opportunities. He just it's not going to come over here for minimum veteran money. Here he is working against Kevin Love out top. Can he take advantage of this mismatch, though? A perceived mismatch. They run a double team at him. Five on the shot clock. Jumper on the way by Giovanni, no good. And Love rebounds. How important for everybody on this USA team to be on the glass, Fran, as Durant gets all the way to the bucket. Well, it's critical because they're not a big team, but they're certainly athletic enough. Huertas with a nice spin move and finish. <laughs> Huertas makes it a seven-point contest. He's got eight assists. And nine points, a pretty impressive stat line. Yeah, I've got a guy on Twitter that owes me an apology, too. What's he say? No, I can't. Pitched by Taylor. <laughs> and you know what, friend? I know there's a little bit of gamesmanship when it comes to international teams when they play against the United States, <laughs> but at this point, a seven point game under a minute to go in the third quarter, you can't tell me that Ruben Magnano, the coach of Brazil isn't trying to win this game right now. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not sure that he feels like he needs to. Okay. Because what good is winning now if you're trying to win a medal? Now, I will say this it's more likely that Brazil is going to, I'm telling you now, Brazil is a dark horse to get a medal. Okay. I don't think they, they certainly would have trouble winning the gold. But after Spain and Argentina, Coach Magnano has brought a, uh, a, a, uh, a consistency to Brazilian basketball. You know, Brazil has always been the up and down, running, crazy, shoot it quick type team. They defend, they execute, and they still are relatively athletic, Mark. Friend, meanwhile, on the court, a uh, intentional foul against the United States. It's only a six point lead right now. Larry Taylor. Naturalized player, erstwhile of Chicago, <laughs> inbounds. Yep. Basketball truly is global. Williams just dogging the 19 yeah. year old Neto. Yeah, the young guy struggled tonight. Verjao with a nice move in the post. Continues to pivot. He's Couldn't still pivoting. <laughs> He's still pivoting. Westbrook over to Durant. That's how you finish. Durantula extending those long arms of his. 
Giving the United States an eight point lead. And the shot clock and the game clock are almost in perfect sync right now with 18 seconds to go in the period. Friend, how surprised are you by the competitiveness of this game right now? You got six former NBA, six current or former NBA players on the Brazil roster, Mark. I'm not really surprised at all. And it's an exhibition game. It's a good test for Team USA. And they over Love. And Love rebounds to end the third quarter. The United States with an eight point lead. USA outscoring Brazil by three, 22 to 19 in the third. Well, we told you, Mark, about the NBA players, Nene. Varajal, Splitter, Barbosa, but it's Huertas with his magic keeping this Brazil team in the game. Take a look. Where are you? <laughs> Come find me. ESPN, the Barclays Premier League. Tonight, as we take a look at our Jeep game track and some of the cogent points. For tonight's game, LeBron James, 6 of 10 from the field, leading the way with 16 points as the NBA's MVP. Chris Paul with 10 points of the ball game to go along with four steals defensively. And off the bench, Kevin Durant with nine points for the United States. Meanwhile, Alex Garcia, a respectable 14 for Brazil. And underway we are here in the final 10 minutes of play. Kobe Bryant checking back into the ball game. Mike Krzyzewski. Going with his starters except for Durant in for Tyson Chandler. Watch out. Kevin Durant putting a little muscle in his hustle. Coach K just ran a little pick and roll offense that they ran at Duke this year. LeBron oh. with the steal. That can't be good for Brazil. Paul with the rebound off the miss. Bryant in rhythm. LeBron with the board. Durant for three. United States still a three point happy, but just four of 20 from downtown, Fred. Well, they've broken this game open, Mark, with their defense, transition baskets. And they've got to be they've got to be careful. I mean, you've got guys with ultra green lights to shoot that three, but it, it can also cause you in a one and done, it could really cause you harm in a one and done situation. When you get to the uh, metal round, obviously this is a great shooting team. Right, once you cross over, it's knockout. It's elimination in the Olympics. Chris Paul off the air ball. Here's Kobe Bryant. Kobe, three of ten from the field in this game, and he's going to take a 19-year-old to school right here. LeBron couldn't get it, and it's a three-on-one for Brazil. Chris Paul with a little payback on Verjao from earlier. Knocked it away. Neto with a nice dish to Verjao. A little show and go too strong. And Carmelo with the rebound. Anthony inside and one. Carmelo. Oh, excellent ball movement that time. Take a look right here. Good dish by Durant. Well, you remember how good Camar Carmelo has been in international play. What about his skill set makes him unique? Well, he's strong enough, Mark, to play inside. He's obviously good enough to play away from the basket. The three-point line is shorter, so it's an easier shot for a guy like him. This is the free throw. 12 point lead for the United States against Brazil. This is their second exhibition game. Three more to come. You'll see them all on ESPN2 in the ensuing days. Chris Paul really working hard at both ends of the court. Baseline jumper good that time by number four, Marcelo Machado. That's his first field goal. Well, he's been making that corner jump shot for about 16, 17 years. He's hanging on at the end of his career, but crafty player. Durant with the pull up. LeBron with the tip. He's going to get whistled for the offensive foul. He pushed off on Anderson Verajao. If it's one thing that Verajao does well, he has a little bit of a reputation of being able to <laughs> embellish. <laughs> 
He's obviously played a lot of soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil within 10. Nice feed inside to Nene for the slam. And Brazil to within eight, not going away anytime soon. Maniano urging, imploring his Brazilian squad from the sidelines. Well, I think he's going to like this performance, regardless of the outcome of this game. Is it already a win for him? I, in some ways, it is. There's no question. Here's Huertas again. We talked about his vision, the craftiness, the Steve Nash like feel for the game. And he does that on a very regular basis. Now he's about 29. I think he's 29. He is 29, so he's kind of coming down the home stretch. He's, he certainly would embarrass himself on any NBA roster. LeBron just muscled Garcia, put him in the weight room yeah. on that one. Well, Did Gar some curls. Yeah. He's got 18. Garcia's a middleweight, and LeBron's a heavyweight. You know who wins those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Verizon out top. LeBron leading the way with 18 points for the United States. Shadow again, this time off the mark, rebounded by Carmelo Anthony, a strong board. And here's Paul with the push. Chris Paul in a rush. Carmelo for three. LeBron kept it alive, but it's Brazil ball coming back the other way. It has been a tough shooting night from downtown for the United States. Nene inside. Huertas. And Verajal with the nice layup. Brazil only trailing by eight. You look at Team USA right now, you don't really have a center. You have forwards and Chris Paul. Kobe Bryant as well. Nice pass by Paul, but Carmelo couldn't finish and doesn't get the call. Machado with the jumper. Tipped up and in by Verajal, and it's a six point game with just under six minutes to go. Verizal with 12 as Tyson Chandler gets set to come back in. This is a great test for Coach K and his team. This is exactly what they need in their second exhibition game. Carmelo wants to get this one up. Defers to Durant. Back inside Carmelo with a primal yell and draws the foul. Getting pretty physical inside. Verizal hustling at the other end for Brazil. Well, this is vintage right here. Take a look. Shot goes up. Andy Varajal, simple little tip. Another guy that's played a lot of international basketball. He's represented by his brother Sandro, who, if you're a West Virginia fan, it's the same family. Sandro Varajal played for Gail Catlett back in the late 1990s. Good, solid Big East player. And they will go to the bench and get a breather. With five and a half minutes to go, an eight to two Brazil run right now. He's Carmelo Anthony at the free throw line. He'll be playing in his third Olympic Games. He says a lot about the power and persuasive abilities of Jerry Colangelo, who had a lot of input in putting this team together. That Carmelo Anthony decided to come back and play in the 08 Olympics because he had a rather inauspicious experience. In 2004, in winning that bronze medal, playing for head coach Larry Brown, and he was perceived to be one of the unspoken, one of the outspoken, yep. unhappy ones, one of the malcontents. But he has totally turned that perception around, proving it to be untrue. Jumper on the way by Machado, off the mark, rebounded by LeBron James. Approaching five minutes to go, Carmelo pulling his way to the bucket. And that's going to be a blocking foul. Good call right there. Varajal, who was it? Splitter never got there. Carmelo just ran him over, but Splitter was never set. You know, Fran, they talk about the lack of size that this universe, this uh, United States team has. Those guys, LeBron's 6'8, Carmelo's 6'8. They're, they're thick, strong, sturdy guys. Well, they are. There's no question. And, and for the most part, give me six eight athletic and quick versus bigger guys. Give me, give me, um, obviously, give me LeBron and Carmelo over Nene and Splitter, and you'll win that matchup most times. Now the Gasol brothers could be a little bit different, but again, you got to get the ball inside from the perimeter, and I think Team USA's perimeter defense is going to be outstanding. Williams goes inside to LeBron James. 
Trying to post up Garcia. Got a little one. Couldn't cash in. Westbrook, great hustle. LeBron almost brought the house down, but missed it. A little traffic jam on 495 that time. Off the mark by LeBron James, and a foul called against Barajal. That's going to be his third personal. Well, and LeBron James misses a dunk. You can feel the tremors courtside and beyond sometimes. Our dunk cam felt it and saw it. ESPN's coverage of the USA men's national team is presented by Nike Plus Basketball, Game On World, and in part by Jeep. Visit Jeep.com to learn more. Everyone back to the Verizon Center up on Kiss Cam a moment ago. A presidential smooch. President Barack Obama is the first lady Michelle. And the pressure was on him because earlier he, he, he didn't. He didn't. You know, they put him up on the Kiss Cam. And I don't want to say the president choked. <laughs> I'd probably hear about it, but uh, but he, he wasn't paying attention. No. He, he made good on his second Kiss Cam. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Having a good laugh about it too. Hey, nothing funny about what's happening on the court right now, friend. Just an eight-point lead for the United States. Darren Williams at the free throw line. Nine-point lead since taking over. Mike Krzyzewski, 50 and one all time as head coach of the USA. Barbosa with a smooth move to the bucket. Another dime by Huertas. Is controlling the tempo right now for Coach Ruben Magnano. He's got 12 assists. Egadala. 10 on the shot clock. LeBron out top. The offense has come to a stagnant halt. But LeBron fixes it. Takes out his do-it-yourself kit. And the lead back up to double figs. Not much Splitter was going to do with that because. You know he wasn't going to come out and guard him. Nice backdoor cut by Huertas. Good help by Iguodala. There's the floater from Huertas. Tipped up by Verajao. Uh -oh. Quick outlet. Three on two. Williams had it knocked away. LeBron off the nice feed. And a timeout called by Maniano. Brazil seeing it slip away a little bit. The lead up to 12 points. Sometimes for the USA, it's as simple as tic tac toe. And LeBron's got their back. Welcome back, everyone, to the Verizon Center. Fourth quarter action, 12 point United States lead. And welcome back to the USA men's national team. Presented by Nike Plus. Let's take a look at the Cisco assist of the night, friend. And boy, a bunch of dimes being dropped by Brazil tonight, especially Huertas. Well, Marcelinho, when you only have one name, or well, they know you by one name, you got to be pretty good. And he's got 12 assists. Team USA has a total of 10. But doesn't he look like Drew Brees a little bit? Got a little bit of the, the Drew Brees look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him know. how much Drew Brees is making. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he just signed. Yep. He is 100, up court. 120 mil, six years. I'll tell you what, when you got the kind of ball pressure that Darren Williams is applying, yeah, that's like having a good pass rush in football, right? Yep. Not front. Foul called against Williams. Darren Williams was saying, "Hey, my, my high school coach taught me to tip up, not down. See, that's what you teach. You tip, tip up, and the referee usually doesn't call that a foul." Brazil was as close as six at 65-59. There's a switch. Chandler on Huertas. Oh, he's got to get it up. One Didn't on the shot it. clock. Didn't see it. Tell you what. There's that defensive versatility again led by Tyson Chandler. Absolutely. Switched out. 
backed off a little bit. 22nd turnover by Brazil. He asked the guys on the team, and there are two real voices on this team. One is LeBron James. The other is Tyson Chandler with his defensive presence. LeBron with a tough move to the bucket. Boy, he took it right, right at Nene. Nene's a big guy himself. 25 points for LeBron James on 10 of 17 from the field. Bertus. Boy, Kobe Bryant could deny defense on the wing against Barboza. They're going to face another shot clock violation until, well, Hurtis got one up just before the clock went up. Hey, tell me this, Mark. You, you love international basketball. Any doubt that FIBA is more physical than what you see in the NBA? Certainly. No doubt. A lot of clutching and grabbing and pushing. There's a good example yeah. right there. You've really got to earn it. And Barbosa back at the other end makes it a 10 point game. Barbosa with a quiet six points tonight for Brazil. This is a, you know, it's, it's going to be a USA win, but it is a great wake up call just to remind them that as good as this team is, that it only takes one off performance in the middle rounds to go home. LeBron with the steal over to Chandler. And LeBron knocks down the three ball. Still in MVP form. <laughs> Back to enjoying life as himself as opposed to a guy who was trying to prove critics wrong a year ago. Williams with the steal. But they turn it over. Barbosa with a sweet move and Tyson Chandler erased it. Well, Tyson Chandler, he's made a living the last couple years being that anchor in the middle. He says, no, no, Leandro. Hey, folks, the Open Championship begins Thursday on ESPN. Which one of golf's greats will have the honor of hoisting the Claret Jug? First round action beginning Thursday at 4.30 on ESPN, ESPN3, and also live on Watch ESPN. Up the time, Tiger on his day off. How surprised are you that Barbosa is actually participating in national team basketball and he is still an unsigned free agent? It's a good question. It really is a good wow. question because uh, you know the guy's been in the league nine years. And, you know his numbers are good, Mark. I mean he's averaged 13 points a game over nine years. He shoots almost 40 percent from three. Plays with energy. Friends, sometimes it's not about nationalism, it's about <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> very apt, very apt of you to bring that up tonight. LeBron with 12 points in the quarter. Going to work against Nene. I think the fans want to see Anthony Davis right now. That's the champ. There's another assist. On the run out, Barbosa with an easy one at the other end. I'm going to make this point to you. Go ahead. I, I think Team USA's men's team is every bit as dominant as the women's team, except that the competition level has just skyrocketed in men's basketball internationally. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, these are the best players in the NBA, the best league in the world. But this is an example tonight of how the world has caught up. When you watch Nene. Barbosa right. and then a guy like Huerta who doesn't even play in the I'm NBA. Put, I'm going to put a disclaimer on that though, friend, and, and take an opposite tack on that yeah. because against Spain, who came second, the United States won by 37 and by 11. Their average margin of victory in the Olympics in 08 was almost 25 points. In the World Championships, it was 27 points. So one could still argue there's a discernible gap. I think there's a gap when you talk about the Tunisias and some of the Nigeria, some of the teams in this tournament, but. Brazil, Argentina, Spain, even France to a degree, they're not that far away. Aaron Williams, you and I have some healthy debate. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you yeah. know, yeah. on the, on the women's point. side, there's no competition right. really except for Australia and maybe Russia. The United States women's team has won four consecutive gold medals going for their fifth in the upcoming Olympic Games as LeBron James goes to the foul line. LeBron, uh, Perhaps using this international competition, friend, to 
add to his game and round it out even more. I remember the FIBA Americas tournament back in 2007 is really when he became a better three point shooter. He carried that into the 2008 NBA season. Last year it was his low post game that improved. You know, it's a great point in talking to Coach K in the springtime. He even said that in the 2010 team, guys like Kevin Love, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Tyson Chandler all improved. It looks like President Obama has this one cooked, glazed, and sliced. He's making exit stage left. Back with more after this. Back at the Verizon Center, a constellation of American basketball royalty. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Darren Williams, and the list goes on and on. And uh, about to put a lid on this win if things don't turn around in a quick hurry against Brazil. How do you handicap the pools, friend, going forward? I mean, is the United States in the tougher of the two pools, or no? I, I don't think that? they are because you got the two African teams, Tunisia and Nigeria, which was a big surprise to people who follow FIBA basketball. So they actually have, in my mind, the easier pool because they've got two automatic wins. Huertas will, after the Olympics, go back to Barcelona. He gave me a couple of restaurant recommendations. I'm taking the family in August. <laughs> You know how to get work to the people, Cerveceria yeah. Candal. The On the Ramblas? It's off the Ramblas a little bit, but I'm looking forward to Barcelona. There's Barbosa. Off the switch. Good hands defensively by the United States and 16 seconds to go. They'll probably just dribble this one out and improve to 2 0 on their five game exhibition tour as they head towards the Olympic Games. Friend, final thoughts on this one. Good test for Team USA. Coach K didn't show all of his pick and roll defenses. Coach Magnano didn't use any zone, but I think uh, a healthy respect for each other. A lot of NBA guys in Brazil, and it was right just what the doctor ordered. Great night of basketball here at the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. The women defeating Brazil earlier. And the men doing the same, the final score, 80 to 69. NBA MVP LeBron James leading the way with 30 points and six rebounds. Durant with 11, Chris Paul with 10.